What's up everyone? This is Coach Sam and today we are making a delicious pappardelle pasta. But, it ain't pasta, it's zucchini. Welcome. Um, we are gonna go through the ingredients, through the recipe, do it all together and get right into it. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna go a little bit over the ingredients and what we have. We have mushrooms, which are a healthy fungi. We have zucchini, which is a great source to um, substitute pasta. I know, we all like pasta, but you're not supposed to have pasta. It's not good for you. I know, it's very sad. Um, we have onion. We have Greek yogurt, garlic, which is a good natural antibiotic. We have thyme, cha-ching. Um, and this is not thyme as in your watch. This is the great herb. And what better way than to end all of your food with Parmesan, Parmigiana. Um, so I do have a little bit of olive oil on my stove top, just on low heat right now, while we get prepared for our pappardelle pasta. Now, you can have one of these fancy machines that you take the thing and you're just like slicing it and you make it a ribbon. I am going to do the hard thing and make them ribbon myself by hand while not chopping my fingers off and on camera. So I'm just gonna go in slightly thinly, just going down. If they're a little bit short, that's okay. Safety first, so whatever you have to do, to make sure that they're nice, even, um, take your time. You want to make sure that you do have a sharp knife if you are doing this, um, because if it is a jaded knife or not so sharp, you're really gonna take something off. Keep your fingers at the top, making sure that you're going slightly down against the zucchini. Um, zucchini is a great winter, summer, fall, Amazing vegetable in general. I truly enjoy zucchini. So I'm gonna go down as you guys watch me do this and pray at the same time that I do not hurt myself because this is the mushroom sauce. It's not red. We want it to be brown. So we're just gonna make sure that we're doing our safety first and protecting ourselves. Um, we're not fancy here at Svelte because we know not everybody is fancy either. So making sure that we provide recipes that you can do at home, that you don't need any fancy tools, it shouldn't take too long, all of that jazz. Um, once you start getting to a certain point of the zucchini, your fingers no longer fit. So feel free to take it and just glide it against it this way. Um, and then you can leave that and we could do a little bit of chunks on the side or inside the pasta. Keep saying pasta because I want you guys to know that this is a pasta dish without pasta. It's so good, so healthy for you. Zucchini is a great source of vitamins. All right, so I'm not gonna do this all day because then this video will not be a five minute video. It'll definitely be a 45 minute video. And I don't wanna bore you guys any longer than you have to be bored because we're cooking together. So I'm gonna set that aside. This is gonna be the last thing. I do tend to take these big ones Slice them down the middle so they're a little bit skinnier. You do get more out of it that way. So I'm just gonna go in and slice some of those that are a little bit chunky. And voila. All right, push my zucchini to the side. Then our famous and favorite onion for some great flavor. Chopping this up. You hear like the ripples in the onion. It's a tough onion. Um, I like to make everything for the pappardelle. You like my Italian accent? Um, nice and stringy. So I'm not gonna dice it. I'm just gonna keep it like this. All right, make sure that this is on a little bit higher because now we're gonna get into the good stuff, which is our fungi, our mushrooms. All right, so first things first, drop it like it's hot. Boom, done. Get those nice, soft, tender, Take this wonderful thing called garlic, which is amazing. I mean, do you know any Italian recipes that doesn't have garlic? I mean, maybe the dessert, but 
that would just be very sad. Um, we're just gonna saute this. We're gonna get the garlic, the oil all over the mushrooms. I'm gonna add, oh, there you go, my hair is all over the place. And then I'm gonna take it and put my onions in. Drizzle, 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 drizzle. And just like spinach or any other vegetable tends to get very hard in the beginning and you have a lot of texture and it gets soft. And if you do it too much, then it gets mushy. And we don't want a mushy pasta. We want a good hearty pasta. So I'm gonna go in here, turn that heat up. It's getting hot in this kitchen. Get that all nice and sauteed. Ooh, it's looking good, it's smelling good. And you know, this is, you're after the holidays, after all of the, the winter. Well, it's still winter, we're in Florida, so it's kind of winter here. But you wanna feel that warm, hearty goodness. And you always go for those heavy, filling meals. And this is one of those things where you can replace that heavy filling, really bad for you meal and make it delicious, good, and good for you. So my stove is taking a little bit longer. So I'm gonna do what any other Italian would do and just add some more olive oil. Get that sauteed in there real nice. All right. Okay. And shortly we'll be hearing that sizzle go off. So we're gonna add some of that thyme. Get all those flavors in, right in there. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle time. And then some salt and pepper. You know, salt bay. And some pepper, pepper bay. Ooh, I'm hearing the noises. The noises of yummy. Oh, I'm gonna make a mess. I'm gonna get dirty. I'm gonna get fun. I'm gonna get yummy. Ooh, buddy. All right. So now that's getting nice and sauteed. And you can walk away from the stove. This will take a little bit of time. Don't walk away too, don't walk away too far. Then you don't wanna miss out on everything and then it's all burnt. All right. You hear that sizzle? Sizzle. I keep losing my mushrooms. Tossing it back in. No one will know. All right, now the good stuff. This is our cream. It's not cream, it's Greek yogurt. It's healthy for you. So don't be afraid to go crazy. We're doing a cup in here. And Get in that cheese, that Parmesan cheese. Get in there with that nice Greek yogurt so we can get it nice and creamy. I'm gonna leave a little bit of cheese for after. Oh, look at that. And Greek yogurt is a great alternative for any kind of creamy dish that you have. Just be sure that you're getting the plain, non-fat. Um, you wanna make sure that you're not getting any kind of vanilla or coconut flavors when you're cooking um, savory meals, then it's just gonna taste off. Uh, so be sure to check the label on that. So, oh, look at look at that. Look how amazing that looks. It looks so creamy and delicious. And look, ooh. All right. Now for our main event. It is our zucchini. Zucchini cooks very fast. Um, and the fact that we made them ribbon and almost see-through, you want to be sure to make sure that this is the last one to go in. If you have chunkier zucchini and you're doing cubes, if you have spiral zucchini, so the thicker it is, the longer it takes, obviously the thinner it is, the less it takes. So pappadella is a thin ribbon pasta. So that's what we are mimicking with our zucchini. You can do spiral, do whatever you would like. I'm just gonna grab a couple more pieces here, sprinkle them on top, and then go back to my handy dandy tongs and start folding that in. I'm gonna make a huge mess because 
I underestimated how much food I was making. <laughs> so get in there, twirl it in there, fold it in there. And it'll get nice and smaller as we keep going. Look at that cheesy goodness. Oh, looks so yummy. And the greens and the onions getting a little steamy facial at the same time while I'm cooking. It's called multitasking. Oh, look at that. That looks amazing. I'm so excited to eat this. Y'all don't even know. Oh yeah. Cool. So I'm going to let this just make sure you're separating the zucchini as well. You don't want it to stick together because then you're just going to get a glob of zucchini and nothing else. Even though it's all delicious. You want to get all the flavors, all the vegetables, all the goodness, all in your bites. Oh my God. It's so pretty. I can't stand it. All right. So got my handy dandy plate. <laughs> I got my cooked papa de la meal like a beast, I guess, too, because I got so much. Yeah, I wanted to make enough so that I can share it with all of you. <laughs> oh, look at all that. Perfect. And sprinkling more cheese on top. Looking beautiful, looking hearty, looking delicious. Turn the stove off. Put it aside, grab a fork, and Dig in. Let's see. Let's see how good this is. I'll do a big, nice, chunky one. Oh my god, it's so good, y'all! Enjoy, like, subscribe, click below, watch all of our other videos, fast, easy recipes just like this with Coach Grace, Coach Mare, Coach Gabby, and we'll see you guys in the next one.